Hello everyone and good to know that you're watching once again. It's such a blessing coming your way with God's word and today we want to talk to you about something very exciting and I'm with my good friend Janet. Thanks so much for joining us once again. Um, thanks for having me. And I believe we're going to really have a great time to share God's word. You're really going to be inspired and we actually expect God encounters in your life as you watch in Jesus name. So today we actually want to talk about uh, quite a number of things and uh, it's something personal. Because we all have encountered Jesus at one point or the other in our lives. And uh, for some of us, probably we've had encounters. We didn't recognize them as encounters. Yeah. But I want, I want us to realize that we all, as far as you're born again, starting from the new birth, the new birth is actually an encounter with Jesus Christ. But you know, we, all, we have other encounters. In fact, the new birth is the encounter of encounters. It, it kind of yeah. launches us into mm -hmm. a realm of encounters. And so encounters are personal. And so that's why we want to do a personal uh, we want to go personal with this conversation. We want to hear from uh, Janet how much she has encountered of the Lord, what the encounters that done to her life and now to her life and it has through her ministered to others. So I want to believe that as you listen to her, there's going to be an impartation on your life in the name of Jesus. All right, so uh, Janet, the first thing I want to ask is, uh, at what point did Jesus become real to you? You know, uh, for some of us, especially for some of us who grew up in, the Christian, in Christian homes, you know, or maybe even some of us, your pastor, your dad was a pastor, your parents were pastors or preachers, you, you, you just followed through, you know, we were born in church and you couldn't really tell the difference and all yes. of that. But I believe there's, there comes a moment when it gets personal. Mm -hmm. So at what point did you experience or did you come to meet Jesus, I will use that expression, on a personal level? Yes, I'd say it was at the point of my, at, at my lowest point. Okay, at yeah, your lowest point. At my lowest point, that was when. Although I wasn't even expecting it. Okay. I, yeah, I didn't expect that encounter. It was just like every other day it was a normal day. I had no plans to go out, but okay. a friend of my sister actually invited me to a program, so wow. I decided to go with her. Okay, so prior to that time, what has Christianity been like for you? Wow, just this distant God who expects me to do a list of things that okay. is quite humanly impossible for me to do okay yeah so would you say you grew up in a christian home yeah of course i grew up in a christian home okay how did that influence your life do you think that was quite in instrumental to getting to meet jesus personal or how has that how did that f frame your life i would say okay well i think it has a role to play although that's not the major role okay. you know it's quite easy for you to encounter jesus and just flow with the tide okay. if you are born into a christian home unlike being born into a muslim home mm. or maybe yeah. a home of buddhist yeah. worshiper yeah. and all that yeah. so i say it played quite a role okay though very minor okay yes so you could you know you hear this expression do i classify you as a church girl like you could you, you grew up in church you know, okay yeah sure you were born I, in the church <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. actually spent most hours of my days in church okay yeah most times i'm always in church wow Oh, so you grew up around church atmosphere, you sang the church songs, knew yes, memory verses and all of that. A but that didn't, that didn't mean you actually knew Jesus. Yes, it didn't Okay, so that. what happened on that day? When, how did it play out? You know, of course, we know that not all encounters are actually spectacular, but every yeah. encounter is supernatural. It so is. what exactly happened? What was the game changer? What changed, really? Okay, um, so we went for the program, like I said okay. earlier, I followed a friend of my sister to the program okay. and I wasn't really expecting anything from okay. it. I just went to a church program because I'm a church girl and I usually wow. go to church wow. and I usually don't turn people down. Okay. You know, most times I'm just this friendly person that just goes yes, and amen. Well. <laughs> So yeah. just like every other day I just decided to go and I thought it was going to be normal like the usual church stuff okay. and most times I don't usually get called that for, for a pastor to pray for me and all that. I usually don't see that happen in my own life. Yeah. Although I've seen men of God call people out to pray for yeah. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was this point in my life, I was even thinking that those things were fake because after all, I, I never got called and nobody ever spoke mm. anything, no yeah. word of knowledge, nothing. Yeah. So I thought, oh, maybe these things are all planned out. Mm. But, yeah. you know, that double-mindedness where you're not quite sure because your parents actually believe this thing is real. Yeah. And they brought you up to believe those things. So well, you just not keep own going. The faith yourself. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm not on the faith. Wow. So yeah. at the program, the man of God was ministering, and then he said, There are 11 people in this place. God is going to cause a rapid change in their life. Wow. So I, I wasn't even expecting him to call me. I was just, my eyes were closed. I was just praying. And then an usher tapped me behind. 
and asked me to go to the front. And when she did that, the man of God said, yes, you, mm. referring to me. So wow. I just stepped out and I went there and people were falling under the power. I wasn't falling because well, I just thought this is one of those. you've never fallen? <laughs> no, I've never <laughs> fallen. <laughs> but did you ever desire to fall under that power? Yeah, I just wish I could experience this thing so that really I can really tell if it's real or fake. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes, yeah. that was just all I wanted from the whole thing. Okay, all right, so please go on then. Okay, so I went to the front and the man of God was ministering. People were falling under the power and all that. And then he told me, before he actually tell, before he told me to take a step forward, yeah. I just knew that if I take a step closer, Okay. To this man of God, I'm going to follow under the power. Immediately yeah. I had that thought, he just told me. He said, you move a step forward. So when I did, I was under the power and I had I had this revelation. Okay. Yeah, this vision of, mm -hmm. of Jesus. Wow. He was speaking to me, yes. Wow. So, so I would say, um, you know, there's always the before and the after. Oh, sure, yes. So what changed? Well... Because, you know, yeah. we, 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 why I add that? Because when we talk about an encounter, you know, I, I remember one of those days, okay, probably I was writing on that, but that if it's an encounter, one of the ways you can tell it's an encounter that it changes you and then through you affects others. Now, it actually changes you. There, there's like a, a, a manifested change. You, you can tell that something is different. So if it didn't happen that way, you can't really call it an encounter because it changes you yeah. and it's from that manifestation that it affects others. So what's changed? What, what was it now, like your work with Jesus, what was it all about from that moment onward? Wow, it was monumental, it was huge, like okay. even up to this moment. Okay. But immediately that happened, the next, because it was a night program, okay. the next day I had this desire, this craving, this deep hunger yeah. to pray or to have fellowship with God, yeah. but I did not know how to go about it. So God became had, real to you at this point? No, not real. He, he did not become real to me <laughs> at this okay. point. But like immediately happened, he didn't become real to me. Okay, not at immediately. No, not not immediately. Okay. I just had this hunger. Okay. I was Design. longing for something, wow. something out of the usual, something Everything. out of the physical. So I remember that I take, I took a long walk, like two to three hours walk, just just praying. I can't remember what I prayed about. From the little knowledge of God that I had, I believe I was maybe confessing my sin and asking God to forgive me okay. and all that, because that was just the little I knew yeah. back then. Yeah. So that was the only way I could feel in that hunger that was the only way i could satisfy it but then it still wasn't satisfied wow. mm. and that program i went for that program like i think that was towards the end of 2013 okay and in 2014 the change was indeed rapid wow yes wow. Was so indeed more rapid. Of, there was foundation probably in the okay. early moments after the encounter like you had sure. foundational moments mm -hmm. okay you know when you talk uh, you talked about the word hunger i mean that strikes a note in my heart because for yeah. me that is really the secret to it. You see, for example, there are people who might be watching us today and they have no idea what an encounter with God is. Yes. Hunger is the key that unlocks encounters. You see, if you are not hungry, you can't eat. And we know that if you are not hungry, that's a sign of bad health. It's, it's a sign mm -hmm. that something is not right in your, with your system. Yes. Because good health is marked by desire, appetite for food. You know, yes. and just the same way in the realm of the spirit, if you are not hungry, you can't feed. You know, uh, Evangelist Bonke makes a statement often. He said that wow. God will send no man away empty except a man who is full of himself. So wow. you come empty to God, you come with that desire, and he says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. Say, for they, they shall, shall be filled, be. they shall be satisfied. Glory yeah. to God. All right, so now I want to ask. Was it the, on that day, the, the, the experience you just shared right now, yes. was that the day that you actually met Jesus the Lord of your life, or you've actually done that prior to that day, but there have not been the reality of that walk with God? Because, you know, yes. it's, it's possible for someone to be born again, but not mm -hmm. have had an encounter mm -hmm. with Jesus. I've yes. seen people, a lot. I mean, a lot of people who are actually born again, they've prayed the prayer of salvation, they, deserve, they want to walk with God. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can tell. Because an encounter changes you. You, you, you can't mistake an encounter. It changes yeah, you. It so you, you might have been born again. If you died, you will go to heaven. But mm -hmm. there's an encounter with Jesus, which you just shared. Now, there's a personal, there's that, that thing where he becomes personal, he becomes real to you. So I want to know, was it at that point when this whole thing happened that you got born again or you were born again already before that day? I was born again before that day. You know the sinner's prayers? I mean, we, we do that almost oh, every course. Sunday. Church. And we were never sure if we got really got born again that wow. the day we sinned. Wow. Like, I mean, I've said this thing like a million and one times wow. in my life. Wow. And, wow. and that day, I, I don't think I said 
this that day. Okay. I, I don't think I did. I did not. So you believe you were already born again for, for quite a while? Yes. Before but you actually encountered? Like I get born again, born again, born again. Born again. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been born but separately? After, <laughs> yes, but after that time, I believe I, I didn't say the sinner's prayer anymore because the rapid change Praise came. God, it actually God. happened, yeah. It was monumental. Mm -hmm. Wow, glory to God. So good to hear that. So I want to also know, uh, so recently, can you share a moment I probably this could be your own moment, but I don't know. Is there any moment you can really trace? Uh, maybe a lot of things that happen in your life today, too, like a God moment, it's a, an experience in your life that mm. God was so real to you. You know, for me, that's really the thing about an encounter. There's just this sudden awareness of God. You know, sometimes you can have an encounter without anything really spectacular happening, but yes. just your spirit becomes conscious of His presence, and then mm. some things are just so real from the realm yes. of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So can you share, is, it, is this it for you or probably have there been a moment, like a major God moment in your life that defined yes. things or brought about the reality of God into your life? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah like last month. Okay, wow. I mean, these things happen to me every day. Wow. wow. It's day before yesterday. Okay. I mean, like, like being open to the realm of the Spirit. Okay. You know, I'm always, I'm always almost wow. conscious of that. Sometimes I just pick things. From the realms of the spirit and see i'm just almost always conscious of that oh, yes praise like praise recently conscious i love that yes. conscious. that means you're intentional very about intentional it. like for me wow. whenever i just discover i'm beginning to focus on something else whenever i just discover my mind has slipped a little okay. i just come back wow. like i'm always in this fellowship praise within God. me i'm just always in there wow. most times That's i just so try not to relate with the things here wow. in the physical because yeah. i know that there is a realm the realm of the spirit, mm. much stronger than this, yeah. or like the mother of this. Yeah, world. sure. So that's where I live my yeah. life from. Yeah. yeah, that's where. I... Well, this is so powerful. You know, when you're, you're, you're sharing, this thought came to mind. Living from a place of encounter. Yes. And that's really what it's all about. Like mm -hmm. you expect it, and then when it happens in your life, you express it. You know, so you, you experience to express. You experience to express as it happens. You express because encounters never end with you. Or was yes. never supposed to end with you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, for some people, you know, I, I'm just thinking about this. You can't really hide an encounter because yes. it affects you so much that you got, you've got to get it through. Look at the, uh, for example, the experience mm -hmm. that the woman of Samaria had with Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. This woman met Jesus as a woman without, mm -hmm. like, almost without any value, you know, yeah. hiding from because of the shame of her past. She's, she she has the reputation of the woman who cannot keep a husband. She's had seven husband I mean her husbands and even the one with her, seven yes. her husband, all mm -hmm. of this stuff. She came that way to Jesus. But by the time she was leaving Jesus yes. into the city, mm. she was living as an evangelist. Something had happened. Yes. Because an encounter will change you. Now it doesn't matter whether you're just getting born again today and you encounter Jesus today. It always it, it always goes beyond you. So I want to ask now, so how is, are these encounters affecting your present day work with Jesus? How uh, uh, how is it affecting? Because I know it's always gonna have some one way or the other affect your work with God. How how is sure. it really work, uh, affecting your today, your present day work with God? Hmm. Like in comparison, yeah. my work with God yeah. today, yeah. in comparison with where I used to be. Okay. Like back then, you always find me, maybe like after five minutes or ten, you find me confessing my sins again, like okay. over and over again. Okay. But now, you sin conscious? Yeah, sin consciousness. Okay. Okay. Exactly. But now it's not there anymore. And now I don't ask him, like, I don't, I don't, I don't say things like, I need your presence to go with me. I mean, mm. I know Praise he's God. with me. Glory to God. He's always, he's in me, he's wow. beside wow. me. He's everywhere. He's in everything I do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So the presence of Jesus, mm -hmm. or rather the reality of the presence of Jesus, is what you believe the encounter produces in your life. So that's what And I think that there's nothing greater than that. You know, mm -hmm. amazingly, we all carry the presence of Jesus. We yeah. know that Jesus is everywhere. He said, Lo, I am with you. He didn't even say, Lo, yes. I will be with you. He said, Lo, I am. I, am. I believe it's the same word that the Father used in the Old Covenant when he mm -hmm. said, tell Moses, I mean when Moses said, who do I tell the people who have sent me, he said, tell them I am. Yes. So I believe that same I am, Jesus, he said, yeah. lo, I am with you to the end of the age. So his presence is with us, of course, in the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I believe that that's the greatest encounter, just mm -hmm. to walk with the consciousness that Jesus is with you. So I want you to look at the camera, please, and talk to the people who are watching. Probably there's somebody who is watching who is trusting God for an encounter. Yes. He is really desperate, haven't heard your experience. Probably mm. he or she have never heard about you know anything like this. This of course an encounter is out of this world, it's not something you get in this world, it's something from the realm 
of the spirit. So, what yeah. would you say to that individual? What what would you? And you know, probably for you, you ne never really expected that that was going to happen, but God okay, kind of, yes, sure. you know, came into your day and changed everything. So, but what would you say to one who is desiring an encounter? Mm -hmm. Probably they want the, the reality of God in their lives. Yes. What would you say to that one, please? Wow. Okay, to the person viewing yeah. out there, you want an encounter with God. All you have to do is just say it and prepare your mind for it. Mm -hmm. Do not think that God is far, God is somewhere up in the sky. Mm -hmm. That distance, just that's not the truth about Him. Wow. He's always with us. He is here, He is present. Wow. He hears the things you won't think about in your heart. Wow. That's why He's called the omniscient God. Wow. He God. hears those things Praise inside, God. He knows your longings. You can speak from your heart, from within you, from your thoughts. You can use the words of mouth so that your own ear, your own ear can hear those things. Wow. It's, that can also help your mind too. Wow. But actually the words of your mouth isn't actually helping God to hear you. It's yeah. just helping you to Hallelujah. hear yourself. You're the one who is being Praise held by that. So if you have to say it with your mouth, God, I, I need you in my life. I want you to be real to me. I know that you're here, you 100% or 101% wow. want me to know you and live a beautiful life. Just say that with your, with your mouth, just say it. And he's just there. Forget about my sin, separate me from God. No, I'm sorry, that's, that's old. Wow. That's old. The new has come. Praise your God. sin cannot separate you from God. Nothing. Wow. No height, no depth, nothing. Wow. No Praise sin, God. nothing. He's just always here for you. He's Hallelujah. longing for this moment. Praise so if you can just open your mouth. Open your heart. He's here for you. Wow. You know, wh while you share, I'm just thinking about the scripture. It is God that worketh in you both to will mm. and to do his good pleasure. Yes. And that tells us so much that the will of God is the easiest thing in the world. You know, sometimes I hear yeah. people say, please, can you pray for me? I want to know the will, the will of God in my life. And I just, this thing just comes from sometimes without even thinking. The words mm. come out of my mouth. God doesn't hide his will. He's more interested in you knowing his will than even you are interested in yeah. and it's the will of God that you encounter him today so it's not something you try to struggle to attain or you have to get some pass mark here and there try to qualify none of us qualify for anything no. Christ is our qualification and the Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 giving thanks unto the Father who has made us mix or who has qualified us yes. to be partakers of the inheritance in the same and God wants us to have encounters every day yeah. And one of the ways, you know, God, the Lord actually gave us a word for this year. Uh, one of the things the Lord said to us, He said, mm. expect encounters. He said, that's the key that unlocks ex encounters. Expect it. Wow. So if you have asked the Lord today, I want to encounter you, I want to, you to be real in my life, the Lord is saying, expect it. Mm. And you will not be disappointed. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. So, Janet, thanks so much for being a part of this. Thank we are so grateful much. to the Lord. And we pray that this is not just going to, of course, you already said it, you experience encounters every day. But trusting the Lord that there are going to be greater ones. You know, and uh, though I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to ask you something, but I don't know if there's going to be just in a minute or two. You know, ministry has to do with the flow of the workings of God in your life. So, yes. how has that encounter affected your ministry, like reaching out to others? Wow. Um, first of all, let me say boldness. Okay. That encounter has given me boldness. Wow. 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 Like at the earlier states or the earlier stages, yeah. I was really struggling communicating my faith. But now I'm mean, like anywhere in, I don't, I don't really care Praise before Praise the Christ. president of the world. I can speak. Wow. I'm just so comfortable. I, I do not know how we did that. I didn't go reading books like. Because there's something uh, more real now than the faces yes, of people you're scared sure. of. Glory to God. So the, the encounters yeah. with God bring boldness. It does. And then that's the ability to convey what God is working on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. Yes. So we pray that God will fill you with encounters today. Please, can you just declare words over the ones who are watching? Release okay. encounters into their lives. I declare the by the power of God Amen. that from this moment, from today, henceforth, your eyes are open to Amen. the realms of the Spirit. Amen. You understand the things of the Spirit. Amen. You understand the voice of God when Holy He Spirit. speaks to you. Amen. I see our viewers going from place to place. Amen. I see them touching lives Amen. through the ministry of the, the Word and through the ministry of prophecies. In the name of Jesus. I see lives being touched. Hallelujah. I see people being healed. I see ordinary men and women, boys and girls, being the light in their home, in Hallelujah. their communities, and in their country. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Father, we receive that today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. So I want to encourage you. Stay tuned. We have so much more coming. God bless.